What is up everyone, it's the Drummer Nerd, and welcome back to another ARK Survival Evolved Let's Play episode. I'm super excited today because we're going to be working on our barn and uh, getting eggs. But, you know, first and foremost, uh, you, you saw this already. Look at how awesome that is. So our two baby dinos, so oh, they're all grown up. I took them out for a little bit of leveling. You can see they're a little bit beat up because I... Oh, oh, we're back. They're a little bit beat up. Because, uh, I like to pump health. Look at that. 26,000 health. There's no need for that. What's this guy got? 32,000 health almost. There's seriously no need for that. Uh, but it's awesome. So, you know, why not? Because, awesome. And then, the newest addition to our Quetzal family. Commissioner Flaps. I think you see where this is going. So, so far, I've actually just been putting some combo, uh, combo, <laughs> combat stats into this guy. 1,000% damage, a little bit of health, just a little bit, it's good. But that's not what we're here to do today. We are here to go put a little bit more work into uh, that big thing over there, which is largely unfinished. And I have this cool sign. You gotta check this out. I have this cool sign. Basically showing... The dinos that we want to have, uh, some of them are going to be wish list ones, obviously. I mean, I do have enough Rexes right now to where if I wanted to, I could just leave them in kind of an egg farming capacity uh, instead of having to go get a bunch more. We'll see how I want to do that. Uh, the Quetzals, too, I think we'll want to see if we can find some low-level ones, maybe do some more solo taming. But the ones that are, are really important are the Dilos, the Stegos, the Carbos, and uh, probably the Carnos, too, because they... Kind of segue into some of those herbivore creatures that take forever to tame if you don't have kibble. So, what I figured we'd do is, we're going to play around uh, a little bit with Quetzal platform saddles as well. Uh, and I, I have an idea here, so let's take Detective Flaps. And let's go to someplace a little bit more open. Like right meow. Right here? Yeah? Meow? Right meow. Okay, and I got, well, a bunch of stuff. You know, we're ready to do some taming here. So I got some stone foundations. We got a bunch of ramps. Uh, a lot of the stuff, too, is just going to be on this guy for us to use on the barn as well. But I do want to place down, uh, let's see, right here? You good right there? I think you're good right there. You good right there? Sweet. Okay. Progress. Okay. And uh, I think that we could probably go out a little bit on the sides. But my idea is, is that for some of the slower or smaller dinos, uh, I just want to be able to throw them on the back of Detective Flaps here and be able to fly with a bunch of them on the back instead of having to try to run them into here. Even though it's not that long of a distance. It, look, you can see Moe's head sticking through the barn. Even though it's not that long of a distance... Um, it's annoying, and we got this giant flying caravan here, so why not use it? But I did forget to grab some ceilings, so uh, why don't I go grab some ceilings so we can expand this out, and I'll be right back. Okay, we grabbed our ceilings. I thought it was prepared, but, you know, it happens. I'm usually not as prepared as I think I am. Uh, hey, would you place? Is that going to be lag? Let's try this one. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Let's try from up here, maybe. There we go. So, I'm just going to build this out and uh, put some railings. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Okay, that was... uh hate when I do that. Cool, cool. So, that's looking good. That's looking good. Let's get... Uh, oh, they're not on me. Let's try this. Yes, you give me some of your railings. Uh, maybe more than that. And, ooh, we don't need that many. Let's take uh, a couple of these guys. Because I'm going to build a ramp up. Because, you know, we're going to need a ramp up. Oh. See how far this will let me go down without uh, running into any problems from being too far away from the foundation. Will you snap? Are you going to be too far away? Oh, I should have figured you'd be too far away. No. No, why, Detective Flaps? Why? Why did it have to be too far away? Okay, so it looks like we're only going to be uh, a little bit wider. 
rather than longer because there's not going to be any way for me to get these ramps down far enough. Now here's the trick. The ramps have got to reach the ground or they're pointless. And it's not going to let me do it here, is it? Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> what? Uh, no. What? <laughs> if it's first you don't succeed, just keep clicking until the stupid thing decides to place. I don't know why that decided to work. That was a little bit silly. But I'm not going to complain. We're just going to go with the flow. Will you let me place there? Thank you. Uh, so I don't, I don't really know how effective it is for me to be doing this. It seems like it's probably not even necessary. Especially because... I need the front to be somewhat open, and I need the back to be somewhat open. Uh, you know what? We're going to try it anyway. Because, you know, why not? So, what was the first guy on the list? We need to go find some Dylos. So, I'm going to go search out for some of these creatures. Hopefully, I can just find a bunch of them and get them all at the same time. Uh, you know, I know that we're sitting on plenty of Trank Arrows and Narcotics. So, let's give this a shot and see what happens. We'll be back.
Well, that was quite the adventure. Look at all these guys just kind of hanging out outside. Okay, so let's go inside and let's see what we got going on here. Um, success? Check that out. Eggs? Gimme, 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 gimme. As I get tail smacked around by the stegos. Thank you very much. Check this out. We got the full line of parasaurs. We got the full line of stegos. We got the full line of turtles. Carbonemies? Car carbonemi yeah, carbonemies. Uh, scorpions. Lots and lots of scorpions. And you can see already there's a ton of poop. I really don't think we need to worry about poop for a long time. You'll also, if you build something like this, I'll note that sometimes the eggs do glitch through the ceiling here. And so I always kind of sneak around the bottom here just to make sure that we're good. I think I'm going to end up covering the bottom because a lot of my roaming dinos keep getting stuck under here. Uh, but I'll probably at least leave a door one so I can get to these guys. Uh, this one's empty, isn't it? Yeah, we should probably fill that back up. And so that we can look underneath for eggs and make sure that we're in good shape. The other... Is that an egg? Oh, I didn't realize that they were black. That's cool. I've not had many carnos, so forgive me. <laughs> I don't really, uh, I don't know what all the colors of the eggs are. So you'll see our, our two major problems here are uh, space, because I've got all these dinos that still don't have a place to hang out, and these stegos kind of glitch through here. And I'm not sure if this is because this one's hanging out in between two of the ramps or why. Uh, they kind of do this every once in a while, and I'm not sure how much I care, because it seems like they'll just drop their eggs and they'll roll down here anyway. So no big deal. Uh, but we might need to play around with that and get that fixed up. I'm not entirely sure if we need to mess around with that yet. And then for the Stegos especially, I found that the too high, even the, the kind of perfect too high... Okay. So that didn't work out very well. The too high ramps really didn't do the trick. Uh, they would really glitch through. Hey, Stego. What's up? So I moved it back a little bit, and uh, look at how tall this has to be. This is like five walls tall. Probably even go one wall taller to make it actually just, you know, because it's glitching through the ground right now. So we need to finish up the rest of this building, and I think that we need to expand it out. Probably at least one more. Luckily, these guys are not large dinos. So I probably only need to go another maybe three, maybe another three down this side, and put another wall up, put another door up so we can get on on both sides. I was thinking that I kind of wanted to be able to get in from this side too, and maybe we'll pull that off at some point, but I'm looking at all the dinos I have in here now, and I'm really not interested in doing that. So I'm going to expand this out three or so. I'm going to get the rest of my dinos fit inside here so that we can start really just gathering up all those eggs. And then we'll work on the outside a little bit more. I have some plans for that, so hopefully we'll be able to get some work done there. Uh, we'll get this work done, and I'll be right back. Alrighty. So we got the Carnos and the Raptors inside. Uh, I ended up going another... Shh, shh, shh. Stop making noise, Raptors. Ended up going another three or so, like like we said earlier, across this way, and I couldn't quite fit all the Carnos on one side, but luckily the Raptors are not very big, and I could fit the Carnos on both sides. You'll notice that they really don't like ramps. I could not get them to stand straight up on any of these ramps to save my life. So we'll test this out, and we'll see how they do. Hopefully the eggs just pop out, and they roll down anyway, kind of like what the Stegos were doing, and we won't have a problem. This room is really, really noisy. Oh, for a second I thought that that was a wild carno that my sabers were just ignoring entirely. And lastly, we got the dilos inside. Mostly because they're very difficult to get up ramps. You can make them follow you up the ramp. You just kind of go up the ramp and drop off and then whistle them to unfollow before they reach the top. And that seems to work okay, and I just really don't feel like doing it. These are the only small dinos that we'll have. I've got kind of a room for it, so we'll just use that room the way that it is. Now the next part that's going to be a bit hard <laughs> with this build, so I grabbed detective flaps because we're probably going to need to just fly by the sides for some of this, is filling in the walls here. 
Uh, since we've already got a section that's five high, I'm imagining that this is probably going to have to be around seven high uh, for me to make this fit all the dinos. So it's going to be really, really tall, and we're not going to be able to reach all of those sections on foot. It's just impossible. We won't be able to do it. Oh, I'm not going to be able to land there either. So what I want to do is I want to at least build these up as tall as I can get them. See how high we can go. Uh, can I fit enough railings on me as well? Stop. Let me let me grab some rails, please. Nope, we weigh too much. Okay. We'll just take a little bit of rails. Nope, still way too much. Okay. Wooden walls it is then. Who? Let me on. Let me on. Come on. Yeah, we made it. So I want to spend a little bit of time trying to build these walls up here. Hopefully by building on the edge where... I should probably put those on my bar so we can build with them. And it's going to get a little dark, so let's... Make it so we can all see what's going on here. Now here's the question. I want to follow that same pattern. I'm wondering if I'm going to have to build out a little bit further to follow that same pattern. Where we kind of every other one starting from the inside. So we got... One wall on the outside, this should be rail, wall, 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 rail, wall. Sweet! Look at that, that was completely by accident, and it worked out in my favor. That, uh, that never happens. What is this? What's happening to me? Nothing ever works out that well. Ooh, eggs, look at that, see? So you can see where this is could potentially glitch through the floor. So just if you build something like this, like I said, oh look at that, carno egg. Right where I wanted it. If you build something like this, make sure that you look underneath. In fact, I would probably recommend building up on stilts kind of like I did so that you can look underneath because if you use foundations, they'll still fall through. Ugh. They'll still fall through. You just won't be able to get them because they'll be under the foundations. The other difficulty here is uh, in some of these sections where I've left the thatch underneath, some of the walls will attempt to connect to the thatch. So let's put a couple up like so. Can I go up one higher? Okay, so I can go four high on the ground, maybe five high? I can go five high on the ground. I don't think I can go any higher than that. Nope, can't go any higher than five high on the ground. So we'll need to make sure that we... Get our five high here. I'm also debating on whether or not I even want to do the outside entirely. I might just kind of fudge my way around that so I can put a roof on. Just because you can't see it. It's up against the rocks. So it's kind of hiding. So there's not as much reason for me to completely build around there. I think we got to build the wall. Oh, okay. That's going to happen a lot. Flaps, we need our railings. And then I'm going to need your help. Because I'm not tall enough. Oh, those things are heavy. I must have some wood and stuff on me too. Yeah, stump this. I should have put a ramp on the other side so I can get up. But I want to kind of close off the walls on the side. I don't know whether or not I want to put a door on the far side yet. That's something that we're going to have to kind of play around with and figure out. I could... Oh, wait. I don't want to go in there yet. I could. It wouldn't be the end of the world. It would actually be pretty easy to do. I'm just not quite sure yet if that's how I want to end up building that side. So we'll see. It probably makes sense for me to have a door on this side so I can choose which side I want to come in on. At the same time, I feel like... Oh, of course. Thank you. Yeah. That's exactly why we need a, a ramp up on the other side. So I'll put a little bit more time into getting this wall built up a little bit. And I have an idea for the roof that I want to show everyone. So I'll come back once we're at that point. And we're back. And we're just about at the end of this very, very ambitious project. This turned out to be way more ambitious than I expected. So you can see I finished the wall around the side here. And this is really the only wall where we ended up using the fence post. And the reason I did that is because we won't really be able to put a roof with those on there because you can't snap any building materials like walls or roofs to the fences or uh, rails 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 yes rails so I made the 
backside here out of walls. Uh, in fact, I also made the backside on this side out of walls just because it was easier than using the rails, and you don't really see that side, so uh, it wasn't a big deal to me. Uh, and I did make a little kind of overhang slash awning right here where this door is so that we could actually place stuff on top of that as well and build up as far as I want. Now, my thought is here... And why I left this little piece open here is I may, on the other side, put another door up top and build a second level, which will house all of our birds. Um, I'm thinking that's probably going to be the best place to do it. And I'm really liking the way that this is looking so far. So, just to give you an idea of what this is like, because you can kind of build the first uh, couple of levels here without the bird. But then you kind of have to fly around with the bird to place the last couple ones, and it's it's... Painful. You have to like run the bird up against the wall to make it happen. I didn't even think about the fact that this is going to be a little bit more difficult on this side because of the... Eh, slope number one. Am I even going to be able to do this without putting a roof on? I think I might have to put a ceiling over there. Which is fine for now because we can actually continue this build. There we go. So we'll have to put a little ceiling over the top of that one and make that work. That's fine. We can come back and do that. Not a big deal. So let's grab what little sloped roofs I do have. I'm going to have to make a bunch more, but I have to make a supply run. We're getting a little bit low with all this wood building we've been doing. So let's see if we can place these from the outside. I think once I get the first couple down and I can actually use the, the roofs themselves. Oh, no! I know that was going to happen. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. I saw that coming. Okay, land, land it? Nope. Won't let me land. You see what I have to deal with? You see? You have to, like, stop in place before you start placing anything, or you will just start to place it every which place. Doesn't matter. Good. No, stop it. Oh, my gosh. This is why I hate placing stuff this high, because unless you have some kind of ceiling to work with... Oh, okay, there we go. A little bit more. I'm not going to go through the whole process. Obviously, it's a pretty time-consuming... Well, of course, and I do that again. Where'd this one go? Hmm. Can I break that here? You know, when you're building a project like this, especially when you're trying to get a lot of different things done. I personally start to get a little bit impatient <laughs> unless I start placing stuff that you shouldn't be placing or placing stuff in places that shouldn't be placed. Like these guys. Oh. Please don't fall. Alright, alright, alright. Cleaning up our mess a little bit. Sweets. Okay, so now I just gotta put this roof on. I'm going to put the roof on and I'll show you guys the finished product. And I think that we'll be done for now with this guy because I'm not quite ready to house any of the birds yet. So we probably won't end up doing that today, but uh, we'll come back when this roof is on. Here it is in all its finished glory. I think it still needs some detail work. I'm not really feeling this fully wood structure thing going on. Maybe we'll do a bottom two layers out of stone or something like we did with the house back over that way. But... So far, so good. I've got just this door up here. I haven't finished this upper layer yet. We'll end up finishing this at some point. Man, it'll just house probably some Argents and maybe some Terras. Uh, but it'll give us a place to put some of the flyers. Uh, especially all the additional flyers and the ones that I don't use very often. So it's nice having that there. You know, we can close that door and keep the Dymos out so that my uh, other animals don't flip out trying to get inside there killing everything. But, uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying the way that this project came out. Again, I think it needs some details, maybe some colors, uh, maybe some other things to kind of spice it up a little bit because it looks kind of boring from just the outside. But, you know, it's doing the trick. We're getting eggs. Uh, not as many as I think that we would hope that we would get. I don't know if there's anything that the non-natural ground does to limit egg production, but we're getting them. Eggs are happening. Let's see if anything fell through the ground right now. That's probably our biggest concern, is just making sure nothing falls through the ground. And, uh, you know, now we'll actually be ready for the Ovi Raptor release, which should be fairly soon. And uh, I think that we should be able to just let those guys loose in the base here, and they'll 
entice the rest of the dinos to lay more eggs and I believe that they'll pick up the eggs and we can just come and snag whatever they've picked up at the end of the day and have a nice production of eggs and we'll be able to really start kibble taming a bunch of the really gosh it's so noisy in this room oh my goodness we'll start being able to kibble tame some of the more difficult dinos that we really want to be able to use kibble on that's going to do it for me today, everyone. Thanks again for watching my episode. If you liked the episode, go ahead and hit that like button for me. If you have any uh, ideas for the details in this structure, I'd love to hear them from you. Drop me a comment, and we'll see if we can add that into the next episode or so. I want to make sure that we make this place look really cool, and I'm starting to run out of ideas. Maybe I just need to step away from it for a little while. If you like some of the stuff I've been doing in this series so far, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We've been growing. I'm, I'm so thankful for everybody. Subscribing to the channel, liking and watching all the videos. It's been so much fun doing all this stuff, and I'm glad you enjoy it. Bye-bye.